This tutorial reviews the assessment wizards for DDH in the child pelvis. When presented with an ossified child pelvis, choose the middle icon where an appropriate set of wizards will be available. Choose from either side of the pelvis and open the image. Scaling, which is important, is the first screen presented. Because we're measuring angles and percentages, we can use the confirm oversize. So accurate distance measurements will not be available. We're presented in planning with a set of wizards appropriate to the bone age of this pelvis, as certain bony reference points will be used not available in the non-ossified pelvis. To begin with, the trans teardrop line, which is the baseline for other measures. Both of the handles sit on the base of the teardrop structures, or the U, as shown in this child pelvis. This removes any obliquity issues from the pelvis. The next wizard, and because it uses a common set of reference points, it chooses to position its one end on the teardrop and then on the lateral part of the acetabulum as shown. It needs to be manually positioned. Values appear and they're also recorded here in the planning panel. Perkins line automatically positions as it uses the lateral part of the acetabulum and also the baseline reference, giving a visual of how much of the femoral head is covered by the acetabulum. The additional wizards will now be used to assess femoral head position. Rhymer Migration Index is the first of these and it's best seen if the other wizards are turned off. These will be turned off now by just deselecting each of them, although their information is still retained. It will use common reference points if they've already been identified. So for example, the pink line is sitting on the trans teardrop line and the blue line is sitting on the lateral part of the acetabulum. The green and red are then positioned to cover the most medial and lateral parts of the femoral head on both sides. The Rhymer Migration Index recorded shows the percentage of the overall femoral head value which is outside of the blue line. An alternative wizard for looking at femoral head is centre edge angle. Generally either Rhymer or centre edge angle are used and again common reference points are originally selected. Clicking on one side and zooming in, the circle gets positioned over the femoral head in the centre of rotation and any of either the dotted or the solid lines can assist you in establishing the outer rim of the femoral head. The lateral acetabular marker will then need to be repositioned to establish the centre edge angle pan across to the other side of the image and position in a similar way. Again making any adjustments to establish the centre and position on the lateral portion of the acetabulum. Remove zoom and the measurements are again recorded. One additional wizard given in the set is Shenton's line wizard. This consists of two portions, either of which can be used either together or independently. For example, on this side, if we look at using this as a combined curvature line, first position both of the ends of the tool and then use the center handle to curve to the shape of the pelvis. And similarly with the red line, position first the distal components and then use the centre to make the curvature and then you have a visual representation of the curve. Alternatively, just use a single component, position that to the curvature and the second tool can be used in some cases for the measurement of the curvature of the external pelvis shape.
whichever wizard you would like to appear on the saved report, add those to the screen such as centre edge angle and then go to save or commit. This ends the tutorial on assessment of DDH in the child pelvis.